Hi guys, um, been working on this melody idea thing uh, for the fun of it and um, in some of my tracks I've always sort of done uh, like a reverse reverb trick to sort of introduce a new sound. Um, I'll probably do another video on that actually at some point. Um, but with this lead line I've just been working on I kind of wanted uh, a lot of reverb, I want the whole thing drenched in reverb but at the same time I want the the lead synth to kind of cut through its own reverb so what I've done is I've kind of side chained the side chain basically um, so I'll just give you a quick preview so you can hear what it sounds like <laughs> that tail at the end is what I'm talking about so if I just solo that what you'll hear is as I play a note there's kind of no reverb and the reverb comes in on itself so the longer the the note lasts the longer the reverb lasts so if I play the first few notes like that so what I've done here is <clears throat> I've got a uh, instance of Serum, basic ping pong delay, and then some reverb on that channel. Um, the reverb you'll notice the decay time isn't actually that much, and it's just adding to the effect of just just a basic reverb in the initial synth. But if I tab across to the mixer. So this is lead synth, lead synth. You can see I've sent it to channel A and over here, channel A has got this ping pong effect. Um, I suppose it's kind of irrelevant to what I'm talking about, but then it's got this reverb and that's the important bit. And the decay time is what, 13 and a half seconds there. So, um, <laughs> you know, that's a lot of reverb. Um, but the important bit here is I've put in a sidechain compressor and the sidechain input, the trigger, is the actual initial instance of the synth itself. So the synth is getting triggered, it's then being sent to a return channel and the return channel's sidechain is being the initial synth. So basically what happens is the synth hits and it actually side chains the reverb so the reverb isn't allowed to come through while that short stabby note hits and then after the short stabby note has hit then the reverb is allowed to sort of breathe and what that's done is given kind of a, well like a breathing effect to the whole synth um, I like the sound I think it's a cool little trick um, so yeah I'll play that again um, and that kind of develops basically but it gives you that um, well you can see later on here I've got a, a, a bar of of no synth and it just allows that reverb to kind of express something in there basically So there we go, that's kind of side chaining the side chain, I guess. Um, yeah, cool little trick, let me know what you think. Uh, as always, hit subscribe uh, if you want more videos like this. Uh, otherwise, leave me a comment and let me know what you do want to see or don't want to see. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Cheers.